All right, this is where the magic happens. We're gonna go ahead and toss our pork right on the smoker. There we go. Right in the middle, uh, we're gonna leave this in here. There's no turning, there's no flipping like you would on a grill. You just set it and forget it. We'll check on that in a few hours. All right, one of the things that we do here with the pork butt is when we're about midway through our cook and we've reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees, we pull it off and we wrap it in foil. The reason why we're doing that is because we don't wanna lose any more moisture. And it's actually gonna help speed up the cooking process and really retain a lot of flavor. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this off. You can see that money muscle that I talked about earlier. It's got all of that nice bark all the way around it. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, put this right back on the smoker as soon as she is wrapped up. So it'll create a nice little pocket here, fold down the top, fold up the edges, and make sure to fold them up so all your juices don't leak out. We'll toss that right back on, nice and simple. We'll check on this in another hour or so and see where our temperature's at. And like I said before, when we reach around that 198 mark, when I know that it's tender enough for me to pull out that blade bone, we will be ready to eat. All right, we're gonna check on the pork. I believe we're about done. This has been on here now for a total of about five hours today, and we've reached that internal temp. Be careful, this can be hot. This is really quick, so I'm, I'm gonna be okay. I'm, you know, barbecue hands, they're all calloused anyway. There we go. Okay. Because I put this in the foil ahead of time, you'll see, as I open this up, it is going to be full of wonderful juices, and that's keeping all of the moisture in that meat. Look at that. You can also see here that this blade bone is exposed and this meat can pull away from it real easily. Now I'm not gonna slice into the money muscle right now. I actually have to save this for the barbecue competition that we're in, but uh, this is some really tender, juicy meat. Falls apart. This is the bark that I'm talking about here. All of that little crusty goodness on the outside. Mm. It's fantastic.